All right, this video is for my man Blood Brothers, uh, who asked me about defenses for the tie clinch and how we can implement our grappling to sort of combat the uh, tie plum. So I'm gonna have my partner Alan rock the traditional tie plum behind my head, elbows in. The first one we'll go over is one of my favorites. I'm gonna make a, a one hand over the top of both of his elbows. So my, my left hand is gonna make an over effort. So what this does is it stops him from being able to draw his elbow back and land effective elbows on me. See this? It traps his arms. Now I am subject to his knees, so as a, a way of hedging against that, I can use my right shin bone. But when I'm ready to implement my grappling, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to step my right leg, my opposite side that's grabbing the arm. So my left hand is grabbing the arms, my right leg is going to step in the center. Watch this. I grab over the head, I step deep and lower my hips. From here, I'm going to throw all of my weight to the left, and I'm going to create a contrarian movement where my right knee turns outward. So you're going one east, my knee's going west. So as I turn, I get Alan's weight going on to his right leg. From here, I grab around his waist with my right hand and I make a switch of my head with my left ear going to his armpit. Now watch my arm. As I do that, I get my left arm under the armpit and from here I can start to work on take down and drag into the mat. Or switch to a double. Usually just body lock him to the ground. So let's look at that again from this angle. So that one locks on a nice tight one. I grab. I come over the top. I can use my knee as a mechanism to defend against knees. And when I'm ready to, to get my break, I step deep. I throw all of my weight to the left. My right knee turns outward in the opposite direction. So as I turn, all of his weight goes in one particular direction. From here, I grab the waist so he can't run his steps away from me. And I switch my head orientation. Try that. Here. From here, I can just the angle and grab my hand from the So that's number one. Number two, another one that's pretty good. I, I favorite this one is my favorite. It's another good one. So he left the tackle for him. This time, I'm going to grab the elbow and I'm going to start to come under, and I'm going to make a cross grip under his far elbow. Same concept. I use my shin on his hip to gauge distance for hips. I have his uh, right hand no, uh, nullified, and if he goes to elbow me here, I have a bit of a shield with my left hand and my right elbow. So I'm here. This is good, though, because now I have to have to hop to the outside this time. Watch how easy it is for me to keep my elbow flared but lower my shoulder. From here, I shoot my elbow toward Allen's back, and I get a nice body lock. Right, this one's back to the Again, so he locks up with a tight palm on me. I go over the arm. I go under the arm on the outside, and I grab the cross shoulder. I can gauge against knees here, and when I'm ready to attack, I step outside. Hits him. When I'm ready to attack, I lower my level, but I don't lower my elbow. This is a big detail. Can you come a little closer just for this detail? If I lower my level, as I lower my elbow, he'll just lower his elbow with me. He'll be able to combat. So there has to be a, a frame that's held with my right elbow. So as I lower, look up his elbow is now above my shoulder. Now it's easy for me to drive forward and bring my elbow in towards my, my wrist. I can grab the waist, make my tape body lock, and then go for my tape. So that's been two, two methods of dealing with the tie palm and how we can implement our grappling to combat the, the striker. Make sure you guys subscribe, leave a comment, leave a like. Shout out to Blood Brothers. Leave a comment below and let me know what you guys want to see on this channel and I'll try my best to pump it out.